Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas and of course I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia and we're back with another awesome episode of Assemble the Troops. Now, there is a lot of talk, as it were, of people getting um, cancel cultured and things like that in toxic fandom and comment sections turning into a cesspool of sludge and toxicity so i thought that was a perfect time to encourage me to go and check out some more of the eco warriors figures from gi joe from back in 1991 which is exactly what we're going to do today we've got some superstars on this show so without further ado let's head on over to the old rob vegas technology center and check them out and save the planet with the eco warriors See you there. Okay, so we made it on over to the old Rob Vegas Technology Center. We've got some Tomax and Zamots there. Stand by, they'll be back. Now, what we do have, as I did mention, is a whole lot of Eco Warriors gear. And this is flat out awesome. I'll really enjoy this now of course we did have eco warriors flint on the program very recently you might recall him popping up in his green fluoro style uh, there he is he's back again unlike that tiger force flint no repairs required at this point so happy about that he's got all his gear um, yeah, he's, he's a good man, so outstanding. Now, what would it be, of course, if Eco Warriors Flint didn't have some kind of antagonist to take on? Of course, we have had our good friend Toxo Viper version 2 on the show, and you know, again, I cannot go on enough about how much of a good figure this is of course it does have that silly color change gimmick thing and he's probably not his wry fight and fit self as per that but yeah i got him back in the day and there he is and he came with those awesome like weird syringy water shooting thing that shot toxic waste which we demonstrated in the Toxo Viper video, I shall post a link below or thereabouts or put up a card, whatever it is folks do on YouTube to, um, you know, pin things or whatever they do, I don't know. But yeah, we've got a few new additions to the Toxic Force or I guess being the adversaries of Eco Warriors. I'm going to call them that Toxic Force. So let's check them out. First cab off the rank is Sludge Viper. Now he is Toxo Viper version 2's lesser known cousin, Sludge Viper. Now I didn't have this guy back in the day, but he popped up for the right price as they do and I was like hey let's get us a sludge viper in the house now of course he didn't come with his weapon system which I understand would have been very similar to the toxo viper version 2's weapons system but I'm glad he's been able to join us here on assemble the troops because this is one hell of an awesome figure like really sinister looking um of course, he's got that silly color change in gag and all of that on the go. But wow, what a dude. Really, like, creepy looking. Like, imagine, you know, seeing that in your nightmares. What a crazy figure. Yeah, really cool. So, he's got his purple booties on. He's got this green biohazard suit with like yellow overlays in some kind of, oh, I don't know what that is, but it's really cool. 
so Sludge Viper, that's a, a really awesome figure and, and I'm glad we've been able to track him down and get him on board. Now, as I said, we've got Toxo version 2, so he's going to hang out just in the background there with old Sludge Viper, really cool. Now they're dilly-dallying around, and you know what they need? Some kind of Toxo Force Commander. And you know who is the man for the job? It is Cesspool. And here he is, the Toxo Commando's leader, Cesspool. And wow, what a figure this is. And this is one I'm kicking myself. I never got back originally in the day. But wow, look at this dude. Like he's disfigured. He's got this cool kicking Cobra uniform on. And yeah, so much detail on this guy. If you've not seen a cesspool in person, you are missing out because this is absolutely outrageous how much detail is on this figure. Like I said, there's the Cobra emblem. There's these epility kind of things. One of his arms has got this gold bronzish armor plating on it amazing stuff and what yeah, wow he's got paint detail there he's got purple gloves on same purple as the booties on sludge and the purple on the toxo viper so there's some real synergy to the team so this is an absolutely outstanding figure and um yeah, I guess because of the gimmick, maybe these guys were overlooked and things back in the day. But hey, we're definitely not overlooking them here on Assemble the Troops. Now, I'll just pop Cesspool there. He seems doesn't seem to want to stand up, but that's all. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got accessories. And if that's not a win, nothing is. Here we go. So. Okay, that's weird. Um, now, I did mention Cesspool didn't want to stand up. But that's okay because one of the best bits of the 1990s is the figures would come with a stand. So that takes my balancing issues out of the equation. Now, he did come with one of these cannons, of course, which is a pretty cool piece in itself. The idea was that that hooked up to this backpack and you'd squish it and fill it with water and then you'd squish it again and the water would shoot out via a pipe system that connected backpack to said cannon. In this instance, I do not have said pipe, so I do apologize. And plus, as per the video with um, Eco Warriors Flint the other day, I didn't want to mess around with it because it's like this stuff's 30 years old and like you don't want to mess it up, you know? Cesspool came with this chainsaw thing cool and i don't really know if this is his but it's in the bag anyway I, it looks like more of a cobra la thing anyway it's there it's good how's that for some eco warrioring stuff and while we're at it let's just shout out to the original toxo viper who's an absolute superstar and of course this was um, one that, yeah, I got back in 1988 and yeah, he's a great figure. So shout out to him. And they really did Toxo Viper proud with Toxo Viper version two, which is a real sinister, cool looking figure and callback to the original. And obviously, you know, folks might think that eco warriors and stuff is pretty lame and well, yeah, but hey, 
at the end of the day, we got some really cool figures out of it and some sinister looking bad guys and great troop builders in Sludge and Toxo Viper version 2. So great stuff. What awesome figures. Sorry, there's no assembling of troops today. Everyone's been able to keep it together. So that's a win for the show. Hey, everyone. Did you have these guys back in the day? Did you think they were pretty strange? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, just shout out generally what you think of these guys and all their cool accessories and how much fun you had with them back in the day and how much fun you continue to have with them right now. Thank you, everyone. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And always remember to recycle to the extreme. Cheers. See ya.